ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LBLCS. It looks like Suboptimal Gaming are ready for round two, and so are we. I'm Buggleberry Finn, joined by Old No Name this evening. Hello. Oh. Happy St. Coriander's Day. Yeah, national holiday <laughs> in the LBLCS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody gets the day off, which means everybody has the day on for the LBLCS. Looks like these guys are actually pretty ready to get into draft, and they're going to be starting up in just a few seconds. Uh, Suboptimal Gaming already lost a series live on stream today against Monkey's Revenge, so they're hoping to get their revenge now against the Bulldogs. Yeah, I actually don't know a whole lot about these two teams. I'm excited to see what it is uh, that they like to do and how they like to play League of Legends. Uh, well... The infamous Makes is not in the squad tonight for Suboptimal Gaming. Was in the squad this afternoon, so uh, still changing uh, changing roster here as we see Cassante taken away and Akali taken off the table. Seems like pretty standard uh, bands, at least for LBLCS so far. Uh, I don't know if uh, if there's any Akali one tricks, but. Nothing is too surprising thus far. Chat seems to think it's Dreamy that has that Akali on lock. The Monkey King Wukong being banned out as well. Uh, we have some surprises tonight. Hopefully there's some prizes in this game too. Karma going to be banned away. We've got some big songs. I'm not sure if Old No Name's even heard them yet, but they are in a secret channel he can see. Uh, we're gonna... Some big songs. What is that? <laughs> we have some big songs I haven't heard yet. Yeah, we got some big songs you haven't heard yet. They're in celebration of uh, the low-budget LCS end of the day. Master Yi going to be banned away. I'm kind of interested in what Bulldog. That is unusual. So, you know, did you watch the first stream? No, I did not watch the first so, stream. So, Sog the Rat, who is the uh, That's jungler. That's an incredible name. <laughs> Suboptimal Gaming the Rat uh, played Leona Jungle in the first series today. Um, oh, that's awesome. So we really that's, could be seeing awesome. anything coming out of these guys. Zyra, we don't know if that's jungle. That's the fun part that, about this. That could be jungle. It that really be. could be jungle. I have done Zyra jungle. It does work. Yeah, and we have already seen the supports go there, so you never know. Uh, it's going to be locked in, too. It's what they want. That's an interesting first pick. No matter where it's going, no matter whether it's a flex, I feel like Zyra first pick is not something you see a lot of. Bigfoot saying, weird coincidence. Does Louisiana Tech know there's a school with the same name? <laughs> Awkward. They don't. This is brand new news to them, so thank you for... We'll, we'll send them a message after the game, maybe. For the first picks on the red side, I Senna. Just, I think that, yeah, Senna in response. Senna gets to cue off those plants, so it gets a little bit of distance when they're dropped. Um, can mm -hmm. be useful. I don't actually know. Um, I feel like Senna, obviously a very scaling champion. Um, aggression tends to be a common answer into it. And Zyra definitely outputs a lot of damage in the laning phase. Um, but I'm not sure oh. whether those sort of enchantery uh, picks are, are going to be more efficient than engage-based ones. Yeah, well, Rel's picked up talking about engage-based, so... Gonna have a little bit of in here. Rel has a pretty good win rate in economy and in commercial. We're in commercial group D right now. So, Rel is a pretty strong pick. Although, Leona's still on the table. They could still whip out the Leona jungle again. They it's could still, still whip right out there. the Leona jungle. Oh my goodness. The, yeah, that's gotta be jungle. That's is that jungle, jungle. Zyra? Just, just like we were talking about? Yes. It has to, I mean, it, it could be mid. It could be mid. That's true. But, like, it's not support. <laughs> we gotta assume the Milio is support, right? There's no other... Um... Yeah, I don't think I I don't think Emilio is capable of going any other position. And trust me, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. Where have you failed? I guess is the question. Mostly mid lane. Mostly the mid lane. Uh, I had a lot of success with uh, Renata mid. What is this count? Like, what is go so we we're kind of confirmed though. Zyra's in the jungle. Yeah, that's got to be Zyra jungle. Because right. I, I mean, unless it's Nico bot, or it's, I guess it could be Nico top, but both of those feel unlikely. They have a lot of. We're gonna snare you. We're gonna shoot mm. the thing in one direction. Uh, Promulus is saying Zyra APC, ooh. but the thing that makes me feel like it's not that is that the, the support is Emilio. Sure. We've got 
a lot of AP bombarding damage, you're gonna have to get rid of big beefy frontliners that don't care about AP. Here, the Malphite's gonna be banned away by LA Tech. I will say, there is a key overlap between Zyra and, Zyra and Nico, which is that uh, their alts are almost identical sizes and uh, would change CC in about the correct amount of time. Zyra ult would go off in about the correct amount of time it would take Nico ult to stun. Yeah, they have some pretty wild stuff uh, for those team fights, but they have to get them in those. Like, they have to land some of those. We gotta have a sneaky Neek, mm -hmm. uh, a Sneeko, or we gotta have a, a Zyra that's really on their A game here. There's gonna be an Aatrox ban back. So it seems like both teams are just uh, targeting the top lane bans, trying to get the advantage there. I think the Malphite ban is wise just to stop the sort of wombo engage that uh, suboptimal gaming has been building. I agree. But honestly, with Zyra Jungle, we have no clue what else they have in their back pocket. It could be any. For all we know, okay, just so I'm really clear, I think the only person we know where they're going is Melio. I feel like we feel like Melio's support. I'm going to say the other yeah. two are still very much on the table based on what Cromulus is saying in chat. We don't really yeah, know where that's anyone's true. going. No. Orn. Uh, an immediate Orn pick. I like that pick. That's a big beefy front line that can withstand some AP threat. Uh, you need some mix of damage coming out from Suboptimal now to be effective. Yeah, I feel like we have a very standard comp on the Louisiana Tech side, and then Suboptimal Gaming is just doing nothing by the books. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my lord, a rumble pick would be wild. That's gotta be top, right? <laughs> Wait, hang on. That's probably top. Yeah, that's Dyer probably, probably top. jungle. Also definitely AP. <laughs> I think they gotta if they go all AP, I'm gonna lose my mind too. That's gonna be like the Giga Brain move. Uh I no, I wouldn't be ready for it. I I mean Rumble it does do a lot of damage and it can definitely shred through the Orn if it's MR tread and just overall output of damage. I think you have to go but... like a hyper carry or someone that dashes, like so they're gonna go okay. Varus. Okay. Varus. Okay. Yep. So I think the positions are what we expected them yeah. to be. I think which it is, is crazy Zyra Jungle. because that expectation is Zyra Jungle. I think Zyra Jungle, Rumble Top, Nico Mid. Mm -hmm. But to be yeah, fair, I, I want to be really clear with you, it could be Varus Mid. Like that's true. We don't know. We you don't know, and we don't know, and that's kind of the fun of this. That's kind of the fun of the LBLCS. Could be Nico Rumble Bot. For all we know, it could be Nico Rumble Pot. <laughs> Melio could be in the jungle. We don't know what's happening. God damn, that's crazy. Okay. That is wild. Let's uh. Let's, to round out the other. let's get ready for some Schmeckle betting. I'm interested if anyone bets on, on the team that we don't know about before the game starts. <laughs> I think the thing is, Louisiana Tech has a very solid, well rounded draft. Yeah. But the thing is. Even when you draft in a really meaningful, uh, purposeful, and well-done way, when you're up against a comp like this, you haven't practiced for this, you know? There's no there's no way you've practiced against the Zyra jungle. No, that's true. So I, you know, how do you know how this plays out? How do you know to counter what suboptimal gaming is thinking? I don't know if you can. I think you gotta hope in the back of your mind, they just play it wrong. Whatever yeah. they're doing, you gotta hope Oh man, yeah, I, I hope, hope that the play standard it wrong. front to back is gonna <laughs> be stronger. I hope they don't know how to play against the normal comp we've drafted. The Blitz <laughs> is a super good pick because I think they don't like. Here's the problem though: you you pull in Nico or Nico baits to somebody else and you pull them in, and then she gets that ultimate off on your team. That could actually spell danger. Yeah. So. Most of them really good. Like Varus would be great to hook. Melio great to hook. Zyra great to hook. Zyra does have those plants too. So a little bit of that. But I think early game, if you can pester whatever person's in the jungle with that blitz, super effective. Yeah, I agree. So how do you think? Uh, how do you think this early game is gonna go? What do you think the Zyra is is planning? <laughs> is it just going to be like a, a full clear or like late scaling type thing or, or is, is Zyra jungle looking to get aggressive? I mean, Zyra like, jungle, as long as it doesn't get disrupted, is a pretty strong pick. Yeah. But it, there's a blitz crank in the game and I'm feeling like it's going to get interrupted. Uh, yeah. But Rel doesn't have that much like ability to really pester 
Dyra, I don't think. Like, I don't... That's what I don't know. Because, yeah. like, I mean, Rel generally isn't the thing that you want to pick in 1v1 scenarios. But, like, presuming the Rel dodges the Zyra E, I don't know what the Zyra is supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have those on the wrong side. Uh-oh. Don't look at those. Everybody close your eyes. If you're betting, I'm going to switch them for you quickly. I'm not really confused. Hey, old no name. I definitely didn't make any mm -hmm. mistakes this stream. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I know that to be the case. Anything uh, otherwise just simply couldn't be true. So while we're loading in and while people are doing some schmeckle bettings, I actually have something to buy some time for us. Uh, we've got some really important songs. Uh, so I'm gonna play those songs, songs for us. They're big, they're brand new. If you wanna listen along, uh, they're in they're in stream team for you if you want to see this. We're gonna play uh, this one that's very much in t in in times with the today with it being Saint Coriander's Day. Here we go. In the heart of old Ireland, where legends reside, there's a lively jig about the tale so wide. They speak of a scandal, oh so absurd. Schmeckle Gate, they say, has never occurred. Oh. Dance away, dance away, let the fiddle play. Schmeckle Gate's just a tale, so they say. Oh. With a twirl and a spin, we'll defy the rumors. For the jig goes on to the rhythm and humor. and stories they come and they go but schmeckle gate it's just the wind's gentle blow no buttons pushed or secrets unveiled in this dance the truth will soon be hailed so we just finished that song live on show i don't know if you're still listening on no name uh but we <laughs> who played leona jungle the same person that played zyra jungle played leona jungle we do have another absolute bop for you guys so if you are playing along at home you've got your corianders i know it's saint corianders day over for you guys check out this new coriander song it's the summer So we're thinking those are pretty good. Uh, you know, some, some Schmeckelgate action, some, some Coriander beer action. That's all we've got. Yeah, I gotta say, I, that really did feel like a, a beer advertisement in and of itself. Didn't it, it even has a part where it was encouraging young people to drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly, truly a good one. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> wow. It does seem like the positions are exactly what they thought they were on the side of uh, Suboptimal. So... Yeah, I I appreciate the fact that... Uh, so I've been doing a thing in my um in my league, on no name, where I just haven't been playing ADCs in the ADC spot. I've been playing any other champion. Uh, yeah. And I appreciate that the jungler for <laughs> Suboptimal Gaming... Uh, Zyra is like somewhat like a pick for the jungle right now, but they picked Leona in the first series. They've picked Zyra in this one. They're kind of like, yeah, I'll play jungle for us, but I'm not going to do it normal. Okay? <laughs> refuse to be normal about it. So. I think they actually have three support players on their team because Feisty's now in the mid lane. Solvix is down supporting, and the rat, I guess, is secretly a support player who, who plays in the jungle. Yeah, that's what it seems like. What are their other? Do we have uh, their other picks? 
or or are we just dependent on the Leona and Syra for determining what their pool is? Because it definitely <laughs> feels like they're a support player in the jungle, if that's the case. That's all I've seen so far out of this player. Okay. Okay, so, listen, do they play other stuff? There is a chance. Do I know what it is? Not at all. Yeah. They do have, they have an unbelievable amount of area control. Four of their ultimates. Only the Melio does not have an ultimate that commands a, a serious area. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why this Blitzcrank pick is so vital for them, because if they... The Orn needs to do call the Forge God, or Blitzcrank needs to land a hook, because otherwise it's going to be so hard to walk in. Nico and Zyra can just be like, no to Rel. They can just hold her in place. Uh, Melio can knock him back. Everybody else can just poke the damage in, so... It's a tough thing. If they get positions on dragons, it's gonna be hard to come in. Yeah. Now, are predictions up for uh, this game? Yeah, predictions are up. I didn't see, I saw 40,000 Schmeckle bet, I think, on one team, but I wasn't tracking it for too long. Yeah, 51,000. Most of it on LA Tech. No one no one believing in Suboptimal's absurd team comp. By the way, it's AP Varus. Um, yeah, that, just feel, that feels a little unfair. I feel like, I'm not saying that the, the Zyra jungle is the meta, but I do feel, I, I have a lot of faith that it would will be able to put work in this game. The, those who because... have faith are RK Waterski 99, Rainbow Samurai 1, Big Dog 4. Apparently, if you have to have faith, you have to have a number attached to the end of your name because they've all put money on uh, number 1. Have we ever... What is the statistical likelihood that someone in the LBLCS chat has a number at the end of their name? Hey, good man, Sam. Uh, at the end of their name? I'm going to say it's pretty... I'm going to say above 20%. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it's not that uncommon, huh? You guys got to start checking those. See if those names are just straight up available ahead of time as we are going to load on into this one. Are we going to load in? Are we going to crash? Are we going to load in or are we going to crash? We are going to load in. Oh, these are wrong too. I definitely looked at this and just got it wrong. So excuse me while I do this all. Totally normal. Where are we going? Oh, I've seen some pings to start though. I'm on 21, by the way. Oh, this is this is a wild. If you're not uh, on 21 yet, hold on. They're coming. Everyone's gonna see each other pretty soon. 29, 30. I'm on 27. Okay. My hello head. 31. Perfect. All right, we see the invade coming out yep. from the side of Louisiana attack. It makes sense with the Blitzcrank uh, pick. I'm curious to see if it does in fact work out. Uh oh. Oh my God, this game is gonna be won or lost so fast. Oh no, no! Uh oh, oh Virus! No! <laughs> Dreamy's he got a flash over. over. Oh my alive. lord, the timing! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, Dreamy, no sums. Voo Dude, by the way. We didn't talk about this because I didn't read it. Voo Dude, great name. Really into Voo Dude. That is a really good name. And by the way, Green Dragon 2001, fit in with Feisty One, both having numbers after the name. And Andreas 417. I mean, that's 3 out of 10. That's a 30% hit. Yeah, rate, that's, just yeah that is game. a 30%. Hey, good man, Sam. Okay, so no actual harassment onto the Zyra jungling, though? From the Blitz. That's true, and they also did not get the actual pick on the Varus. He does have no sums for laning phase, which isn't great. Uh, but being able to come to lane not a long sword down is also very cool. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's very good that they didn't end up giving the kill, but the Ignite was burned on... Let's crank as well. That's what was cleansed in the end. So, you know, not all summoners available for the other side as well. You could still fight pretty well. They have cleanse on Voodoo, but heal for Solvix. 
Oh, that's level two for the Blitzcrank, though. He's gonna push forward and look for the hook. Not gonna find it. I think the other uh, upside of, you know, having no sums on the Varus is that you're into a Senna, so the kill threat is not as high as a lot of other AD carries, even if you do have to eat a hook. Yep. Good damage coming out. Okay, and push underneath tower here, though, and Zyra's all the way up on the other end. They know they're safe to just shove in relentless pressure here. Nice pull right Ooh, there. No. Wow. And directed Cam said you don't want to see be... anymore. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of damage on the Varus. The wave is still pushing towards them, so he might get a, a pretty good chance to pick up a lot of the CS anyways. But that is going to put a dent in their laning phase. Yeah, no one's really falling too far behind in CS. Top lane's having a little bit of trouble, but there's a big wave pushing into them right now. So as long as Rumble can absorb some of that right now, he'll be safe. Yeah, not much uh, going on in this early game, despite uh, some of the wacky picks and the Blitzcrank. I was ready for some absolute 5v5 chaos in the jungle there. We didn't quite get it, but yeah. I think it's better for Sog that we didn't get it. I don't know if they were going to be able to do it. Yeah, and I think uh, the Orn's getting a series of berries. Good to go in. A lot of damage on there, too. And Wedlini is just not able to get the CS that they need just because of the constant pressure from Orn underneath the tower. And behind the back is oh. Rel. They want to dive here. Yeah, the dive has been set up, and now they are just waiting. Orn yeah. definitely has a push on these minions. Does have Flash Ignite and is actually going to run into some trouble. Get the immediate drop of the shield with that Q from Spectorus. They're trying to dive underneath tower now. Gonna drop that shield again, trying to flash away. Stay alive for a little bit longer, but can't drop the slows. Some summoners were burned, but down in the bot lane, they're looking for some damage onto Voodoo as well. Can they trade across the map? They cannot. Voodoo gets the safety. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get to see the setup from the, that gank on Zyra, because I am curious what it looks like when you're walking in through Try into a Blitz Crank in the Zyra. <laughs> but they were able to lay down a lot of damage on the Senna. Um, just weren't able to secure the kill that close to the turret, so... I do think that bodes well for the Zyra overall, for our expectations. And this Orn actually grabs a call on first back with the Null. Oh, mad respect. Yeah, that's gonna be very <laughs> interesting. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna win the CS fight up here, I'm gonna get a lot of gold, I'm gonna be a big beefy frontline for these guys. Yeah. He is just prepared to kick Rumble's ass, just hammer him straight into the ground. We'll see yeah. if he can get away with it. I mean, he, they did get the first kill onto the Rumble, but it's, Rumble into Ord is not a not an easy matchup even when you have that gold advantage. Yeah, but the Assassin Tank Mage Fighter is going to be okay up there, I think, against the Rumble. Up some CS, yeah. has the, the damage now. Rumble's actually teching into some resistances to start. Hmm. Listen, we don't know what's going to happen. We see the comp. It doesn't mean we know what's going to happen in the game. Oh, no, That's man. true. That's we can't really call true. the shots from out here. Rub's being picked up, though, by Zyra and Nico. Don't call the Forge God. Getting dropped onto him right now. Rumble trying to get out of this, but doesn't have any flash. Already burned it underneath the tower. A lot of damage coming out. He's going to drop the ultimate onto Andreas. A lot of damage in here. Comes two more. Can they find it onto him? This would be a really big pick. There's the flash forward. They're looking for it. They find some. Can they find the rest? The CC is never ending, and the rat is going to pick up the first kill for suboptimal. That is a big turnaround. And just like that, as soon as he purchases the cull, he does in fact get punished for the lack of resistances. <laughs> I'm not sure whether he would have oh, been able to- Oh! oh he he just reached around the minions to grab Dreamy, who realizes they're actually in a nightmare and they're out of here. Yeah, I, I, will they be able to catch the, the nice flash. Of that flash? Probably means they will. Yeah, that's a nice knockup right there. And they don't have hook yet, but it's not going to be needed as Solvix gets a shield, but oh. here comes the hook, it doesn't reach! Oh my god, I saw it the very skin of his teeth. Wow. Well, I guess wow. we spoke too soon about action in the early game. Yeah, I guess they're making us eat our words. Oh wow, these guys are so lazy. We could probably get a really exciting game if we just trash talk them right now. That's a, that's a great point. 
I think these guys really need to uh, to step it up. I don't think there's been enough action. Not enough action. Four it's, it's not a banger. It's, it, you know, we're only three kills out of seven minutes. It's not really a true banger. Yeah, it's just supposed to be a St. Coriander's Day game. True. I will say, I don't think the directed camera has panned mid lane a single time. Doesn't Maybe like it's because Nico has been just walking around the map while the Oriana's been farming. The fact that but... Nico has 52, 53 CS as well. Uh oh, Milio realizing they don't mm. want to be there and just goes mm -mm. down. I think that will be Dragon, but they are, they're, they're still contesting it. There's a lot of Yeah, they have a lot of ultimates, and oh. there's a lot of damage getting dropped onto them right now. Feisty trying to get into the mix, but isn't able to blow them up. The rat is going to go down first. Green Dragon super low on one end. Actually dies, but the hook still lands. He still gets pulled all the way in. He has those summoners to use. Here comes the ultimate from Feisty. It's not going to be enough. It's now three on one, and it is going to be a full sweep of them. Three for one in the end. Yeah. Really good fight from uh, Louisiana Tech, but also really just a, a bizarre... I don't know how you would fight that from, uh, from Suboptimal's perspective. Just with how many things just happened that were outright bizarre. The Blitzcrank hook landing after he was already dead. Yeah. You know, what, what, what were you supposed to predict to know when you were supposed to go in and do what you had to do? I don't know that you could or should. It's it's They are in a really tricky position, though, because they don't have anybody that can really frontline. I mean, once they get Rumble into these fights... Orn's going to be there. So it's going to be really hard to walk in at all. They really need to get there first. They need to push waves. They're going to have the ability to push waves with the Varus, with the Nico. Push waves and get there first because walking into you is so hard. Yeah, and I think we definitely saw the fragility of the Tyra kick there. I, it really only felt like it was three skill shots and a couple autos and she was gone in under two seconds. And she definitely output a lot of damage with the plants and the ult. But it is going to be tough in contesting future objectives to die to that little. It looks like they're trying to make a play up into the top lane. Getting pinged out though. You're aware. Drockwave misses in the mid. They still get a stun onto Feisty, but good dodging right there. Keeps her alive. Yeah, it's a big deal. Uh oh, Green Dragon. Ooh. Just gonna absolutely cause mayhem for these guys. So much damage so fast that full lethality voodooed just Ooh. running through them. And now Rat could be in trouble. A lot of damage coming out onto them. Feisty trying to move over in time. Spec Toros gonna get hit up doing a lot of damage with that ultimate. Feisty goes in trying to find it. There's the ultimate to follow. Call of the Forge God does connect, but only gonna be able to grab one here as Baldron should be able to get away. Lots of fighting all over the map. We have surpassed the uh, the quota for, for Banker. It is now 11 kills in 10 minutes. Uh, as the spotlight pushes down the bot turret. For some damage again. Try to find the hook, but Ooh. not quite in time. Oh, it's getting absolutely chunked out. Voodoo does so much with the Senna. Yeah, and it's only going to scale harder and harder, and I think that uh, that's going to become a concern quickly with how much pressure the Blitzcrank has put on the Melio Barons. Yeah, having trouble. Then and now getting way up in farm as well, trying to hook right there, but grabs another minion. Uh oh. We do see Zyra and Nico on uh, on Grunt on the top side. Uh, yeah. Rel's nearby. Uh -oh. but Green Dragon going all the way in. A flash good. over the wall for Solvix. Dreamy's gonna get pulled. Dreamy's gonna cleanse it, but now more damage is coming in, and he's gonna go down again. Is he? Is he? Is he? He's able to get pretty good distance. He stays alive. Emilio oh my all goodness. making a big difference there. Emilio all cleanse, heal. Everything coming out to protect Dreamy, but still getting chunked a little bit. Voodoo gonna take that tower shot. Huge gold lead, though. Huge gold lead and the dragon right now for the side of LA Tech. Yeah, and when that's on a team that has an Orn and a Senna, we do have to start worrying from the side of uh, Suboptimal Gaming and trying to find those plays. They do have they have a lot of mid-game power with those ultimates, so they definitely can. But uh, finding those angles is going to be tough as the uh, side of Louisiana Tech continues to scale up. Andreas already has that Abyssal Mask finish. Other people teching into what they need to on LA Tech. Dog the rat's gonna help clear some stuff right now. And they're kind of waiting. This is a little bit of a bait. They know that there's three there and 
They're gonna reply with maybe four here, but for a dive. So before this dive comes through, I have a question. Yep. Oh, well. Oh. Hang on to your question you because the rat call? might be in trouble. Has to drop the ultimate. It's gonna get pulled actually out of a stun, and they're gonna turn on the back line because it's a two. B4 now. A lot of damage though, Dreamy. Oh. Peppering it in. And they're gonna pick up two right there. The wrap from the death is gonna grab them, but big shockwave means they're able to take two back. So a two for three. They're able to salvage that a little bit. Yeah, it's a big fight. I think the uh, the pull from the Blitzcrank accidentally taking it out of the Rel W was a huge deal. Yeah. Uh, and keeping Zyra alive for just enough time to allow Varus to get both of those kills. Um, Lord Dre plays also... screaming at us because it's AD Rumble. Oh my God! It is. That is incredible. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know so much more. <laughs> you know what's insane? He's actually gonna do some damage to Andreas now. He's teched fully into MR. That's true. I I want to know why Brutalizer. I wonder if it's for like. I mean, the only thing I could think that he's building is Profane Hydra. Uh oh, a lot of damage coming out, but can they come in and take this dragon? They can't. Zyra's able to secure it, but now they might lose the fight as well. 5 to 12 right now is the score, but they're going to look for two more as they're going all the way in. Green Dragon's going to knock up the rat, and here comes Baldron trying to find the damage. Feisty peppering some into the back line. They can't find the hook, and look at the damage coming through. It's a little bit. Here comes the ult, but can he stay alive for a little bit longer? He cannot. The rat should go down in just a second. Massive call. The Forge God's going to hit Dreamy. Has to flash away. They're going to try to dive underneath the tower, and they grab it. That's three kills going the way of LA Tech. Oh my god. Oh, Voodoo almost shed. Oof. Yeah, that's a that's a big fight for the side of Louisiana Tech. They, I think they will get this mid turret. It's tough to tell with the. Oh, actually, never mind. The plating's fell, so they oh, they should absolutely get this mid turret, and then uh, they'll probably rotate up towards Harold, uh, just expanding the gold lead that they have. I think um, overall this is going to be very positive for them, but try, trying to figure out how. Uh, some optimal gaming finds their way back into this one. Yeah. It's it's not gonna be easy, but I feel like it has everything to do with this rumble. Wait, Rumble sold his items. Oh he did, okay. So he's going AP now. Okay, what was that about? I think I think it was just a tech. Well, I, I think there's two there's two parts to it. Okay. Part one. Um, one, I think he checked into AD for the early game uh, in, because he saw that the Orin was going such heavily magic resist. Sure. Um, but also, I think he just consulted with his team because there was a moment before he sold his items that he bought Tiamat before he undid it. Okay. So he was gonna finish the entire Profane Hydra, uh, and then his team asked him to go AP. That's my current guess. I think it's a good guess, and when they maybe win this series, we can ask that question. Write that one down. <laughs> oh, it's already lodged in my brain. Great. Don't unlodge that. Is a lot of damage coming out onto Voodoo, though, right now. Dreamy trying to slice and dice him in. Dragon trying to look for something. Can the rat grab him? No, he's going to get grabbed instead, and there's all of the damage going down, and Zyra's out. We are just going to see some continued poking from uh, both sides of the bot lane, but with the pick on Zyra, it does seem like uh, this this outer bot turret is doomed to fall at some point. Yeah, and suboptimal gaming just getting oh, Rel is getting in. in position for a dive, it seems. Oh, you're right. She could be looking down there. Zyra is actually marching that way, too, though, so they, they do spot it out, so the ping's coming. This is a massive, massive gold lead. They need to win a fight and take an objective, though. Back in the game so much more, but Solvix gonna get pulled, gonna get alted, gonna get knocked all around. He's able to flash over the wall, but a huge set all almost finishes him off. Now Feisty's in the fight, has teleported from that mid lane area. And they look for something with a numbers advantage. Or is that just to deter them? Yeah, good work for some optimal gaming to take no uh no casualties there. Uh considering the state of the game, but oh, yeah. It is going to be continually tough for them to answer across the map as the gold lead is 7k in Louisiana Tech's favor. Just looking for that hook. They're able to take the tower down here in the bot lane. LA Tech looking super dominant in this one. Big, big CS lead up in the top lane. 
Thyra's outpacing this Rel, but Rel 3, 1, and 10 right now, cause of so much of these fights. Uh oh, underneath the tower, here comes Call of the Fort uh -oh. God as well. Gonna drop the ult and the try to just turn him, and the Ignite's ticking down. He might actually live and win this, and he does. Rumble's able to turn it, get the shutdown goal, and now the rat could be in trouble. They found, found Nico already here in the mid lane. My brain is so confused every time you say the rat, because that could only register as Twitch to me. Yeah, okay, so the plant rat, the, the, the plat. Yeah, the rat, also known as Zyra, also known as, uh, not Twitch. Got a good name, man. Got to say the good names. Dreamy's a good name. Solvix is a good name. Boo, dude. I mean. Yeah, this this uh, series Another is definitely friend. good names. Yeah, like Spectoras, Bold, Boldron. Is uh, Boldron the giant rat, thing in Lady. Lord of the Rings that Gandalf says fly, you fools, when he falls down? Is it Boldron that, like, whips No, him? that's that's the Balrog. Balrog. I right. thought you were. I thought you were gonna ask me about Grand, because Grand is awesome. He's just the giant battering ram that uh, all of the orcs chant the name of as it approaches the gates of Minas Tirith. I was not Grand. gonna ask you that, but now I realize Grand. if I ever have a question about it, I should Grand. ask you. Yeah. Grand's a cool guy. He shows up, he does one thing, and then he never shows up again. I don't like this Blitzcrank. He shows up, he pulls people, he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Items are coming out. They've got some Rylies now. See if they can find some damage onto these guys. They're in a little bit of a checkpoint. Massive Shockwave's gonna find two right there, and Baldron's looking for more. Here comes the Senna ult, and it's going to find the Zyra. She's out of the fight. They're trying to chase them down now. A massive ultimate's coming out, but it's just to deter them. Yeah, that was an incredible Oriana ult to pick off uh, the Zyra immediately and put a lot of damage on most of the team. I, I think it's gonna be really tough to contest the Dragon from here. Um, so it's probably secure. But. Harold in the bot lane, Nico's dealing with that, but Drake, as you said, uncontested, gonna just be picked up by LA Tech. Oh my goodness, over the wall, Green Dragon finds it, and they are out of this one as Call of the Forge God lands onto Dreamy, but no one's there to follow it up. Yeah, and I think uh, at this point, uh, Suboptimal Gaming has to has to be thinking about game two, because it's looking really tough between the scaling comp and the massive gold lead to, to make this one back. Yeah, I'm all about the Zyra pick, though. I'm all about the supports in the jungle. Oh, I love the Zyra. We've seen the Leona, we've seen the Zyra. What else is in their pocket? Feisty's in the pocket of the other team right now. Massive Shockwave's gonna find two right there, as a nice ultimate from Feisty just can't do it. Zyra's gonna have the follow-up, but these guys are so tanky at this point. They can deal with the crazy Wombos. Underneath tower, no minions now. Still chunking it out massively. Rumble up in the top lane is able to grab one. The damage on the Ornn is a big deal with uh, with the Zyra and Rumble up, just with how much damage they can put out. But we, I think, it does seem like based off the pings, they are going to be turning towards the Baron instead of continuing to push this mid turret in. And 8k up in gold means that. <laughs> Anything you get at all is massive for the side of Suboptimal Gaming. They got the top tower, but LA Tech, super clinical with all of these fights. Their ADC and their, their mid laner just with a massive amount of gold. Just look at this. I mean, both at yeah. 9,200. The next closest um, on the other side is Zara with 880. I mean, yeah, still the gold is going up on their highest. Louisiana Tech has three full items over. Uh, over suboptimal gaming based off the gold difference. Yeah. You need to. Well, uh, somebody fill in Lord Dre play. Oh no, Lord Dre play noticed it earlier. It was a brutalizer start, so we're not really we don't really know what's going on too much with this one. It's a wild build. Uh, but you know what? You could just throw any shade you want. Man's two and one. Yeah, he has found the kills one way or another. Yeah. Nice, nice PC little, good one. Brutal start for sure. Rumble looking for some damage onto this Orn. Trying to stop him from taking the tower. I think, I think he's gonna take it no matter Orn's what. Orn's just but. gonna get it, yeah. He does, but he can't well, find it. you wanted that Rumble. <laughs> yeah, he did. Here, look at him in the jungle now. Voodoo does have some safety. 
They finish that Knight's Edge. Orange building an item in their face. Gonna get hit a little bit for it. Oh! Hook is down. You could maybe try to find something right now, but you really have to find a pick. You can't engage 5v5 here. It's just too dangerous with how strong they are. Green Dragon lurking, waiting. In that one second, there were three separate people I thought that hook was gonna hit. Yeah. I mean, it could have gone anywhere. It did not land. Voldron trying to bait a little bit. Can't find oh. Solvix with the hook. It was close, though. Yeah, that... that <laughs> the Melio felt his soul leave his body with that hook. Creamy. I think uh, I think Suboptimal Gaming is just playing for the Baron Steel here. You can see the vision that they put around it. Yep. Uh, you can see them trying to hold down this mid wave. They're just looking to find an angle back into this game. Uh, Spectorus has a ball. Job. Spectorus has ball and is in a really dangerous position. Voltron has to walk oh. up so Spectorus can walk up. They're going to maybe look for a massive play here. Over the wall any second. They're going to go in right now, and all of the damage is going to come out actually on the Spectaurus. But there's the Shockwave going to find three of them called the Orc God. Going to land as well, and the setup finishes off two immediately with that ultimate. They're going to look for more as there goes Dreamy down and out. Only two left are Melio. Melio should be next as all of the damage. Going to be able to finish him off, but not without a little bit of resistance. It is going to be the full ace, and they should be able to take so much here. I don't think they can end yet. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but uh, between how fast this turret's going down, it's still 15 seconds until Ideon's back up. They may be able to get both access turrets. They, they might be able to just right kill now. them again. They have to come in one at a time. Varys is up, uh, Varys is up at five. Yeah. A little They're just going to be disciplined. They're going <laughs> to back up, wait for the dragon to respawn. They're up 12,000 right now. Yeah, that's rough. That is, that is a tough deficit to come back to. 34,000 to 46,000 gold. That's like more than a third of your gold. I believe is, is, so. <laughs> Listen, if anyone could do it. They have an it, additional third of what you have. If anyone could do it, it's so optimal gaming, all right? Yeah, uh, look, I mean, the, the Zyra jungle is still an unknown factor. I'm ready for it to, to blow my mind. Maybe third Drake picked up here. It's so, so hard to take these guys down. Extra tenacity. We are going to see resets come out from the side of Louisiana Tech just to, you know, finish up their items, make sure that uh, they spend all of that gold advantage that they've gained. I think they're going to head for the Baron Pit and uh, and just force an answer from the side of uh, a suboptimal gaming or just, you know, face a, a Baron buff barreling down their lanes. Look at the incorrect text on Yomu's Wake. You have that too? Hold on. I do. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> that is extremely incorrect. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny though. That's as low budget as us right there. Yeah, I don't think, I, I've noticed that about the Orn items when they, uh, you know, change the items back. Oh. Whoo! Um, I don't think they actually like did anything to make sure that the items uh, worked, like that that the tooltips were functional. So I, I don't think Yomus is the only one. Awesome. I hope it's not. I hope we get some more Orn items that are just silly. Let's check Jaxxos, right? It's, uh, the Unspoken Parasite? No, that seems to work. Yeah, I think Jaxxos uh, hadn't changed in, in terms of it being an Orn item since before the uh, update. Yep. So I don't think that one's broken, but I think there are some others that are just incorrect. Some it does seem they like can't get in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now there's gonna be a fight right now. Can they get it in? It is gonna be Rel that secures it, and now they're gonna look to turn right here. A massive Roman ult though onto the backline, doing a lot of damage. Green Dragon drops super low. Call the Forge Guy's gonna knock up three of them. This set of ult misses. This is a chance right now. Feisty gets in there. Only gonna find one with their ultimate though. Oh, and a massive Shocker's gonna finish them off. Zyra picks up one on the backline. It's just Voodoo. In terms of the people that are going to do the big damage, and Rat gonna flash over the wall, but not to safety because Voodoo runs him down. Dreamy and Solvix gonna have to back up out of here. Rumble all the way back in the base, trying to hold on. Oh my goodness, that auto. Trying to give him some space, trying to, oh, but he gets stunned. Solvix pays the ultimate price. Yeah, the Senna, uh, the Senna's made it to 111 souls. They're 10, one, and 15. Oh the God. autos are outputting a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, rapid fire cannon finished. Yomu's wake. Got the QSS as well, so really hard to actually get onto Voodoo and punish them. But we did see a couple of kills traded back this time. 
Yeah, it's like. It was a really good effort put up from uh, Suboptimal Gaming for being in a 12k deficit. We are going to see uh, Louisiana Tech just rotate top and, and push down this turret. And all of Suboptimal Gaming is coming to contest their presence here. Looking to try and get a pick back. A little bit of damage onto them. Just going to push them off. Give themselves a couple of breaths here. But Green Dragon lurking. Seems like it's just going to be uh, another reset from Louisiana Tech. Continuing to just play it slow. They know that they have the scaling advantage. They want to make sure that uh, they use that to their advantage and don't overstep and give uh, Suboptimal Gaming a huge gold boost. I think <laughs> even if you gave him a huge gold boost right now, it's going to take more than just yeah. one moment of brilliance. Oh no, Solvix, you're in so much trouble. Voodoo can just walk <laughs> at you. Find you <laughs> in your own jungle. You're never safe. Yeah, even if I think even if they killed all five members of Louisiana Tech, they might only make it like a nine gold, or nine thousand gold difference. Yeah, if they put it all on the same person, you can see a real change happen. But without that, it's gonna be troublesome. He's gonna flash forward. He's still gonna find it though. And a lot of damage coming out. Feisty throwing the fake in to buy him some time. Bat has to drop their own wow. ultimate, the flash forward from Spectora. It's going to find some damage onto him as well, but they're a little bit split. There goes the Rel ultimate, going to pull him in. Shockwave's going to finish him off as Voltron picks up the first kill of the fight. Now Green Dragon lurking in deeply. Spicy doing a good job baiting with these fakes. Yeah, I got to say, that Nico fake really put in a lot of work. I think it bought that, that Zyra like eight full seconds of life. Yeah, but now the waves are coming in and... Spicy's trying to find a way in for themselves. They get knocked up in so much damage. They're going to go all the way in. They have ultimate, but it's a little bit too late. This Baldron picks up another one. Still 10 seconds on this Zyra. Rumble drops so, so low. Doesn't get finished off, though. Neither does Dreamy. They're just going to execute these guys very calmly, pushing in these towers as a group of five. Nothing Suboptimal can do but sit around and watch their base get destroyed. And there's an all in from them trying to find a way to destroy them. But they're the ones getting destroyed. Dreamy's out of this one. Zyra's already gone. And it is going to be game one going to LA Tech. A really disciplined game from them overall. They just played the classic front to back, strong engaged comp. And they really did a great job uh, protecting the Senna. It was a wild game. We almost saw the most explosive possible game one. Look at that center damage. Wild. Now, they will have side selection here in game two. I'm not sure you change it. It looks like they... No, thanks, Zodiac. I'm streaming. Zodiac, invite me to an ARAM. Hey, Zodiac. Are they going to switch it up? It looks... Impossible to tell right now. But we'll, uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with the draft. A six-pack of beer is just a six-pack of beer. But a six-pack of coriander? Now that's something to celebrate. Carefully crafted with one main ingredient, one signature flavor, Coriander transcends hops and malt barley. With our new easy-to-open bottles, you'll be able to slug down a sixer faster than you could ever want to. So grab a friend and raise a glass to craftsmanship, because a coriander shouldn't be enjoyed alone. It's the only beverage of true refreshment. Coriander beer, it takes to the tank. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. A groundbreaking day in LBLCS legal history. People would die without schmeckles. People can't live their lives. They can't get food. They can't get cold ganders. How would you expect to live without a schmeckle? Schmecklegate. You saw it because you were there. The people were there. Mighty Fool sent money to a place it didn't need to go. 
What people don't realize is just exactly how involved F. Dingus was in all of this. The mighty fool played his hand, and I was one who benefited. You thought you could get away with this? I'm tired of pretending he's innocent. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. They are already in draft. We said have a little bit of a reprieve for ourselves. As they did decide to go with the same size, the same bands coming out as well. All six of the same bands, but this time Suboptimal Gaming first picked Senna away. Astrel going to be picked up, and Tom Kench going to match with the Senna. And it does seem like Suboptimal Gaming is going for a much more um, orthodox pick, at, at least thus far. I still actually, I still presume that they're going to go pretty wacky with it if, they're, uh, if their first pick in the first game was Zyra Jungle. Um, but I, I do think, you know, even with game one being a blowout, I think that Suboptimal Gaming actually has a serious chance to win this game because we know how crazy they can get with it. And having learned what it is that Louisiana Tech is looking to do, I think that they can uh, adapt with their wide champ pools and blow them out of the water. Well, we'll let me tell you see. right now... Louisiana Tech's looking to go in. Orn, Rel, Ash. Those yeah. are all... They, they saw the Senna pick, and they're just like, look, man, we'll just swap it out with an Ash. You know? We're going <laughs> to go you do. all in it, you guys. We like the global on the ADC, and we want everyone to have their own go button. And anyone can call the start of the fight. Galio, going to be banned away. Oriana, they're not going to get that again on Poltron. Yeah, I think they uh, they saw that the engage that uh, offered with the rel, yeah, and they just don't want to see that anymore. I agree. They're like, oh yeah, that's a great delivery system that we're going to avoid. Rel also all pulls them all close together, so rel can even set it up even easier. A lot of kindred screamings. It's interesting, too, because now Suboptimal Gaming is facing the opposite issue. Instead of picking Brutalizer Rumble to balance out the AD to the AP, they now have a lot of AD, and they need to figure out a way to balance out the AP. Yeah, they're tacking a little hard into it. The Seraphine going to be taken away, and they're going to say, yeah, we hated the Blitz Strength too. We didn't like it when you guys played that, either. Uh, so we don't yeah, want I think to that makes sense with the Senna Tom Kench bot. Yeah. Just take that away, make sure that uh, the Senna is going to have that reliable opportunity to scale. And the Ari pickup to try to get those picks and dash around, be harder to, to find for yourself. I like that selection as well from LA Tech. See how Suboptimal chooses to reply. E Sin. So like, Leeson was not on my radar I, at all. That could be support. We don't even know. Um, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that Tom Kench could be jungle for all we know based on how these guys play, man. Got to be careful when you're making assumptions about suboptimal. Last pick to round out the comp. It is going to be a Vigar, so they are going to have a good like spread of damage. Uh, Tom Kench and Vigar are going to be able to do a little bit more of that AP, but it's a pretty scary comp from from LA Tech here. It is. It's it's another you know standard front to back. They have the pick with the Ari. They have lots of uh, fight set up. But I do think that the Vigar pick really locks in suboptimal gaming's comp a lot better. It's a much better anchor 
Uh, because you got the area control with the E, you've got the heavy AP damage, you have the Tom Kench to save it the same way you could save the Senna. Yep. Um, so there is gonna be a lot more threat. You know, even if they just want to do an Ornal or or Rel engage, they're gonna have to make it through the Vigar cage. Which is a big ask. So uh I think that is a very good pick here from Suboptimal Gaming. Uh the Renata is gonna finish off the comp thanks to Ferox for the prime sub, and thanks to Potato Wu. Um for the follow as well during this one. This is going to be a very interesting game. For the first time today, I've seen the... Oh my goodness, they subscribed with Prime as well. Thank you so much, Tato. Um, this is the first time I've seen a normal jungler, quote-unquote, picked by... Um, gaming. By Suboptimal Gaming today. <laughs> and this is the second series we've casted of Suboptimal Gaming. So, How many games of, of Suboptimal Gaming have you watched today? Well, this will be the third. <laughs> I missed the first okay. one, uh, but oh, okay. they are on the same side, so I'm going to set up the Schmeckle betting, and I don't know. We saw a big influx go the way of LA Tech. I wonder if we're going to see the same here, but this is a much more standard comp from Suboptimal. It is a lot more standard, and I will say, I'm not, <clears throat> I am not a uh, Lee Sin aficionado, but I'm not sure what the Lee Sin does into, into Rel and Orn. It feels like you're going to have that early advantage, and then I don't know where your damage goes as the game goes on. Like, I'm not sure how you continue to stay relevant into those two. I feel like you're looking for dives on the Ash, mm. and then beyond that, I don't know uh, what you can accomplish. We'll be finding out very shortly exactly what they can accomplish. Oh my goodness, it, why are they always backwards here? Hang on, those are the wrong sides. Don't look at those sides <laughs> if you're betting. How, how did you manage to get this wrong in the first I, draft? So and when we loaded in, what and it, on the second draft. <laughs> what it is, is... Um, somehow... Well, me and, me and Lachance share a, a thing. I think somehow okay. he switched the place of them. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. This is fully Lachance's to... fault. Lachance forgot to turn off the dyslexia setting. Yeah, he's he just dragged them instead of switching where they go. Um, oh my goodness, I can't move. Oh, he locked this one. This is a very fun. If you're watching at home, this should be very fun for you. This is accurate. Look how big those are now. Wow. Buggo made it visible. Oof. I gotta put my Schmeckles down. It's actually a pretty even Schmeckle bet right now. Yeah, I put a lot of Schmeckles down on Suboptimal. You did? Yeah. All right, so that means just lore-wise, I have to go the other way. Mm-hmm. All right. And I always bet all my Schmeckles. Got about eight and a half K here. And you go on to I don't know what you're talking about, Rescue. There's no Schmecklegate here. Oh, do you want to hear a song about Schmecklegate Rescued? <laughs> We're me and me and Omen are gonna be dead quiet during this, so you can really listen to the lyrics. In the heart of old Ireland, where legends reside, there's a lively jig about the tale so wide. They speak of a scandal, oh so absurd. Schmeckle gate they say has never occurred. Dance away, dance away, let the fiddle play. Schmeckle gate's just a tale, so they say. With a twirl and a spin, we'll defy the rumors. For a jig goes on to the rhythm and humor. Whispers and stories, they come and they go. But Schmeckle Gate's just the wind's gentle blow. No buttons pushed or secrets unveiled. In this dance, the truth will soon be hailed. There you go. A true Schmeckle Gate song. You're gonna be. Loading into this one in a little bit. 
Thank you. I'm excited to see uh, the direction that suboptimal gaming takes this. I do. They obviously take much more uh, traditional lane assignments, <laughs> but I do think uh, there's a serious chance that they could really turn this one around, given um, just the adaptations in draft and how they would be expected to play this game based off of what they pick. Well, they have scaling now. So I think something they missed last game, <laughs> they got behind and the other team had scaling. Mm -hmm. They had the Orn, they had the Senna last game on the side of LA Tech. This game, Vigar and Senna are on the side of the Baltimore Gaming, and they have the Lee Sin Rennington, so they might be able to be carried through that mid-early game um, and then look for something with your later game. Champs, they also have a stronger uh, bot lane combo, in my opinion. The Blitzcrank won't be a problem this time. So a lot of things could go their way in game two here. But LA Tech, just a dominant showing in game one. Really going to be difficult to say that they can't take game two here. They have the confidence. They have the chutzpah. We saw the invade, maybe just because they had the Blitzcrank. But we could see some level one shenanigans still come out. So I'm definitely keeping oh, my yeah. eye on these guys. That, I mean, they've got the Ash this time. I yeah. feel like we're guaranteed. If they're going to run in the way they did last time. I know they had a Blitzcrank, but, you know, with the Moxie that they walked in with, I feel like an uh, uh, invade is essentially guaranteed. I am going to be expecting it. Uh, Dreamy gets to play the Kench this time. I haven't seen Dreamy play Big Meaty Boy yet. Oh, you're right. So, it's going to be interesting. Solvix gets the... Sen, I know there's a lot of Solvix fans out there. We had some Solvix fans cheering for him earlier. I am excited to see. I, I think if the Renekton Lee Sin can get an early advantage on this Orn, given how uh, how much damage they can output early, it will be a really big deal. Uh, and, you know, speaking of the scaling, Renekton has received a lot of changes over the past uh, season that just make him so much more of a terror in the late game than he previously was. Uh, so it is going to be interesting to see how that plays into this all. Yeah, there are some counters too. Renekton can actually cut through the Rel Shield it, when it does come up in that W. Um, Ari doesn't have a blink, just has a dash. So Vigar Cage is pretty effective against her. Um, I don't know necessarily how difficult or not difficult Senna Kench is into Ash Renata, but I would assume Senna Kench have a much safer lane. Um, can just kind of farm Ash with a little bit of poke. Renata doesn't have anything too deadly, in my opinion, to, to, to prevent them. But the Renata in these ganks could be could be very powerful, just pushing Lee Sin away. I think the Ash does represent like a pretty big threat for uh, Suboptimal overall. Just because yeah. the slows are going to be really brutal. Because, uh, you know, if Senna and, and Kench ever try to initiate a trade, it's going to be very difficult for either of them to really walk away while slowed. So they're gonna have to pick their fights very carefully, but I do think that with the scaling that Senna and Tom Kench has, yeah, um, they're gonna have a much better chance of success than well, uh, the Varus and Melio did. I, into the I think that you really need to play this smarter if you're on the side of so optimal gaming because the way that they've drafted yeah. with Renata and Orn the same exact shaped ultimates, everybody has a go button on LA Tech, except maybe you could say Baldron doesn't, but Baldron still ha has pick potential. So maybe not a go button for the whole team to get in. But definitely can start off fights with that charm. Everybody looks like they're going to go for a traditional five point here. I'm at 31, 32. I'm at 32, 33. Perfect. Realign. And let's really gross you guys out back at home. Let's take a real big look at this whole game here, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you getting seasick yet? <laughs> PC a little. I do think that uh, LA Tech does have the better engage, but I think that the disengage from um, suboptimal gaming gives them uh, a really strong chance in this one, just because you know that LA Tech is going to be looking for the engage. So between the Vigar Cage and the uh, Tom Kench alt, they have a lot of tools that will help them peel and uh, be able to determine the fight on their own terms. Yes. Yeah. And I also think that in the skirmishes, so in those side lane battles when they're not in the 5v5s, I actually think, based on what they've drafted, the Optimal has a super strong like skirmishing. Whenever they're 2v2, 3v3, they have the numbers, the way to win that, I think. Yeah. And I, I mean, Lee Sin in general, you know, 
I, I don't know how it's going to pan out in the later stages of this game, but it does just have a ton of early pressure, which when you have these scaling lanes, uh, is really big for just, you know, keeping them safe and making sure that they can reach uh, those things that they want to. And Solve is going to take some damage back from Voodoo. Voodoo definitely a guy to keep your eye on. Had a massive Senna game last time. Definitely knows how to play against it, so... See how they position themselves, where they want to stand to not get pestered. I will say, Solvix has a lot of confidence on this Senna. They're stepping up, they're you know, willing to trade. Yep. I feel like they know the limits of what they're trying to do just based off of these first couple of trades. And that's an important thing because you really don't want to give any of early advantages away. You are a scaling lane. You want to make sure you can scale, can get the Q off too. Can't quite grab that soul, but even up in the top lane, this time if he bought a Brutalizer, it wouldn't be too weird, I think. Right, we saw I don't that. Know, now I want to see him start with the Hextech Alternator. <laughs> Just to get that extra distance to go in. Smart. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage though coming out. <laughs> Andreas up that level. It does seem like uh, when he's giving it the proper amount of respect. And, uh, you know, with a Renekton and Pew on a wave like that, you can just get so much health back. Solvix can't quite trade effectively. Loses his life overall in that trade, but has some pots to drink. And yeah, Senna, the Senna is doing Senna things. Kind of just there, gathering souls. <laughs> it is doing the job that they have to. I will say... The camera did pan to the mid wave within the first just know, for a couple seconds, though. not very long. It did get there though. True. <laughs> Sorry, it's already what? an improvement over last what game. What did we say last game to get more kills? Oh, these guys are boring, or these guys are. What yeah, were... yeah, these nothing, you know, uh, not even a banger yet. Not even a banger yet. This game's not even a banger yet. That'll work. That'll, they'll be a kill very soon now. They're upset. Yeah. It really did work like a charm last game, even though it had no right to. Within like one minute, there is like four kills after we said it. Yeah, I think there were six. <laughs> yeah, well, there might be one up here in the top lane. A lot of damage coming out, and Andreas can't find the knockup. And oh, the bot lane, Dreamy, Dreamy going it. in. I, they must hear us. They hear us, and then they just start fighting. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Not even a banger yet. They're going to find some damage oh. on a Voodoo, though. Hold them still. Dreamy going in, trying to hit him a couple of times. A nice pullback. Solvix drops super low. Has to burn the cleanse. Trying to get some distance. Dreamy just slapping onto Voodoo. Up in the top lane, too. The Rat. They're going to look for some more. Oh, my goodness. Solvix can't find it. They could be in a huge amount of trouble. Can't find the damage. A little bit of speed for Voodoo. I'm Kench is just going to walk off. After after maybe 30 Ash on us, he's just gonna limp back to the turret. Andreas did have to burn Flash because of the Rats gank. But we did... So I will say, props to these teams for trying to make a play after we said not even a banger yet. Really good work. Good yeah. stun right there. Still gonna get hit. It does seem like, you know, with the scaling being on the side of suboptimal gaming, they're doing a better job controlling the pace. Yeah. I agree. Rel, Ooh. now in the pit against Lee Sin. Renekton right. has Realm first. Yeah, he's he there faster. I think Seems he like might just leave. Yeah, off. they got one. Uh oh, Baldron's here. Does have Flash available. Might just... He's going to use it and just totally get out. There's the Flash from Spectorus too, though. He could take a lot of damage. Just a safeguard Ooh. away. Still hasn't been CC'd, though. Just walking out slowly. Pots chugging. No deaths. Not a banger yet. <laughs> we are going to see uh, a reset out of uh, LA Tech's bot lane and uh, you know, just a regular old shove-in from some optimal gaming. I am curious to see what the items for both sides will look like after those resets because we did not uh, see some, any early kills from the Astronauta. Ramble already finished on Andreas. Chain Vest coming out for the Rel. That, the heal cut is just always massive against Renekton with how yeah. much he can output on the minions. These guys are mostly AD, so it's going to be big on Feisty to make sure they can try to find some damage. But again, they pick this like full... Not really mixed damages. Oh, nice turn right there. Trying to find a good stun, though, from Renekton. They pick these really like condensed damage types with just one bursting play style of the other. They picked the Varus last time. The yeah. AD poke Varus. 
with the full AP comp. This time they have a, a Vigar. Definitely more effective. Um, but the only one that's really AP, you could say, Tom Kench does some, but that damage is not always um, consistent in team fights as Rankton drops the ultimate. I do, I will say, I think a lot of, uh, this, oh, it's, it feels like they want to fight. It feels like both sides want it. <laughs> yeah, they're eager. But I don't think it'll happen. Um, oh, oh the here. Rel's coming around for the gank, though. Victorious. The flash forward from Green Dragon's not actually going to do it. Solvix trying to create distance here. Does not have a flash. Victorious can't find it. Does find the Q and gets first blood finally seven minutes in. But Green Dragon's in some trouble. They can't find the sun. Dreaming going to flash forward. A nice shield right there. going to keep alive for a little bit longer. Can they find one more Q? They're ticking down with the ignite. The Q does it. Dreamy grabs a kill back. It's a one for two in the end. But Tom Kench, a valiant effort. Brad is not able to show up in time, but it is ultimately still a one for one in that 3v3. And Tom Kench is the farmer in that lane. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, it's probably still more more worthwhile. Oh, the charm on the Vigar. Just seems like it's got to be a trade. A little bit of a splash of damage. Not too much more. Uh, you, you probably still want the kill gold on that Senna, but with a farming Tom Kench like that, it's not like you're going to complain. Now. There is one way that Suboptimal could have won this game to start, and it would have been the skin game, and if they had gone Leprechaun Vigar, they straight up would have won the game. It's St. Paddy's Day. That's true. So, That's true. Opera That's why they banned... That's why LA Tech banned Malphite game one. They oh, didn't Shamrock, want the Shamrock Mal skin. That's true. They're trying to ban away the, the St. Paddy skins. These guys at bay. Yeah, I am uh, looking for... A lot of stacks on the Vigar, regardless of how well he does in lane. Just for that W cooldown. Because how much oh a lot of damage. Okay, Renekton seem to be in trouble, but I think they're just gonna walk away. I think so too. Um, and Dragon should be picked up in a second by Lee Sin, give him some healing. Oh, he's taking aggro. Look for the stun right there. He's gonna drop the ultimate as well. Here comes Call of the Forge God, gonna look for some damage onto him and does knock him up, but takes a tower shot in the process. Not really the best position for this Orn. Could have been in a better one. They're looking something down here in the bot lane. Rat. Can have not find Sonic Wave. Can he safeguard? He can't get the kick, though. A little bit of slow onto Green Dragon. Almost a perfect rendition, but fancy feet yeah, from Green I think, Dragon. I think the center route actually tripped him up. He didn't think he was going to be that. Whoa! The flash from the ash. Yeah, Voodoo staying alive. I find some damage on Asalvik. Still not level 6 on the center yet. A couple more minions than they should be. Yeah, I think the center route actually caused Lee Sin to misjudge uh, how much further Renata would be able to walk before he should Q. Oh, did not he's not get charmed, but he's taking so much damage. He's going to drop that kick. Has no ward yet. Trying to find his way out. Doesn't get hit. He's going to go back over the wall, but here comes the Ash Ultimate. It doesn't matter. They're all right no. there. Renata picks up Lee Sin. And the Smite at 604 health, so he can't obtain the blue buff. That is rough. <laughs> Not going the way of Lee Sin right now. The rat <clears throat> wishes he could have just played another support in the jungle. We understand your pain. You get it. Yeah, LA Tech being really on top of the map right now. Uh, having the rotation for their bot lane so they could pinch the Lee Sin and make sure that they secure that kill. Uh, but I will say, overall, it's a pretty slow game. There's a 2k gold lead for LA Tech, which is a big deal. Um, but it's certainly not spiraling out of control the way the last one did. Yeah, this game's still very much in reach, and Lee Sin actually coming up here back to these, trying to stop the 5 drop from them, but a lot of damage on the Spectorus right now, or they look to try to finish it off. Has Aftershock, nice flash away from the Sonic Wave, could choose to go back in, but Rat, we know, oh, Ooh. Ari picks Ari one up. One. Yeah, they were super low back in the top lane. A little bit of a skirmish going on. They're going to find some damage. Andreas just hitting up Rennington down here in the bot. No, can they do it? It's going to be another. Rel gets that one, so invaded. They were doing it, but can't stop them. I think that means that red side was able to secure five grubs, too. I guess we'll have to wait until they uh, attack a turret, because apparently Spectator does not show you uh, no, they how have it. grubs five, they have. Five up at top, I think. Is that the grub sign? Oh my god, you're right. I did not know they added that. <laughs> Little grub sign. That's probably why Spectator was down for that week and a half, then back up. How do we get do, you, do you think? I mean, it is just a yeah, buff. They could just put it. Like, why would they go so far to change that when it's already checkable? <laughs> you know, I think that's what that's what did it. 
Yeah, I, I think you're probably right, and that's the disappointing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't figure out how to add this. <laughs> oh, Riot. Do little goop. Well, <laughs> the game continues to take a much slower pace than the first. At this point, I'm pretty sure the game had, like, 14 kills, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I think for the uh, side of Suboptimal, this is fine with them. Yeah, that, no, that's exactly what you want to see. Uh... Oh my lord, we have a surprise visitor. Hello, human Lachance. I, uh, I ate too much Indian food tonight. I had not a thing, too actually. much chicken tiki masala. Hey, yeah, that's not a thing. Me and Old Name great choice. have so much, we don't believe that that's too much is a possibility. It's, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I just came to the only, I came to the only place eat I go more. for advice, which is the low budget LCS. You eat more. The, the, okay. Yeah, whatever yeah, you yeah. eat more, it'll flush yeah. out the rest, so you'll be fine. Find find the curry that cancels chicken tikka masala and eat a whole thing of that. I love the idea that there are cuisines uh -oh, that cancel Chef each Kench other. Chef might be trying to eat yeah. Green Dragon right now as they're going all the way in, but a good ultimate from Green Dragon keeps him at bay. There's the flash forward, but can't find the eat. Now Dreamy's stuck between a lot of people, but look how tanky this man is. Voldron coming in for the flank. The Astral is going to connect. They're going to look for some damage out of them as well. Dreamy gets ulted and hung up. He might be going down, and ultimate from Seta is not going to be in time. One is down in the fight. Here comes the rest. As Reinicktain is just a massive front line. They're going to pick up one. But Call of the Forge God's going to not land. The flash forward on Dre's boots. They can't grab it. They're trying to keep him alive. But Rat might go down as well. They do. It's a three for one so far. Trying to find the rest. But Reinicktain's so deep. Reinicktain picks up another kill. It's a three for two. Can he find another? He has so much healing. He picks the wrong target. Maybe but Feisty. Can he get in range to ult them right now? Maybe looking for the W. Looking for the Q. Do they have any more? They don't. And they back up. Honestly, really good fight from both sides. Uh, LA Tech is able to secure uh, more kills, but the attention to detail with the teleport, making sure they're able to secure the Ash, very well done from uh, Suboptimal Gaming as well. That fight was that fight was nuts. That Tom Kench, that's that's out of control. They just even though they did go down in the end, they took so many autos. That was outrageous. All right, that's enough of the Elisha's talk. Let's back, get back to the Indian curry. Okay, okay, I love Indian food. I love Indian yeah, food I mean, so not. much. It's incredible. Uh, I, I just, I'm just so full. I also had a boba tea with it, and that might have been part of my problem as well, is that I've just had a lot of sort of milk in general. I think that's just sacrilege. I think that's the issue. I mean, aren't you supposed to have, like, mango lasses? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. It is, it uh -oh. totally is. One person maybe going to have too many mango lasses. His dreaming goes all the way in. And I'm out a nice cage right there from Feisty. They can't find Ari though in the end. A good shield's gonna keep Dreamy alive for a little bit longer. Saw so cannot connect on the Sonic Wave. Zeta trying to keep him at bay, but Baldron goes in on a catch, finds it. Spectorus finds the dragon as well, and Voodoo gonna land that Ash ultimate from so far, nailing him, and that's gonna be a two for zero with the Drake. Yeah, and Ari able to get out by the <laughs> very skin of her teeth. That is a huge fight for uh the side of LA Tech because they're able to just take another set of kills over Suboptimal Gaming back to back. Uh, Suboptimal Gaming just really trying to secure that dragon, use the advantage of the least sin that they had, but Spectorus is able to steal it away. I mean, Suboptimal Gaming is going to have this Vigar, right? That that just, I'm sure you've already talked about this, but just scales like into infinity and it's, you know, 1 0 0. 111 farm as long as they keep scaling right now voodoo also could be in trouble they have that heart seal so a big damage hit but here comes Ralph from behind gonna find him ash was eaten up can they get spit out can they get taken down can they find that q they're so so low but they can't find it there it is oh my goodness but from oh not a God. glass with the w gonna keep them alive yeah we, we talked about the scaling on feisty we've talked about the scaling on solvix with that senna they need to survive this mid-game onslaught that's about to come in with this Ari, with this Ash, in order to get to those late-game stages where they really come online. Dude, Voodoo just can't die. I mean, like, the, it, between the two games thus far, he only has two deaths. The, uh, the amount of attention uh, from the side of LA Tech to just make sure that they are uh, rigging their ADC over the finish line, you know, making sure that he's protected at all times, it's just impeccable. All right, well, it's clear that there's only one thing for me to do, and that's to go out and eat some more Indian food. So I will leave you guys to this excellent cast, and uh, I just got to double down.
Yeah, double down, yeah, it'll flush get, it out. They'll get like some doll or some sock. Some yeah, get some like sock veneer. Oh, yeah. Sock. Put some garlic naan tonight with it, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Carb up. So mix. good. So good. So good. Cheers. Alvix trying to find some more damage onto these guys, but Voodoo's so big now with that Kraken, with that Phage finished. Really hard to get on top of and. That yeah, and you can really feel LA Tech's pressure on the bot side. Rel already here again. Eight of the deaths have been uh, dealt to the bot side. They're really just focusing their attention, trying to stop the Senna from scaling. Victoras, really strong. Oh, Vygar went in. Went for the big splash onto the tower and got it. Sonic Wave's going to connect. Down in the bot lane, though. Can Dreamy keep his counterpart alive? Solvix gonna take some damage. Good cleanse right there. Here comes the ultimate, though. Out of Renata, and all this damage is going down. Here comes the tower. Here comes the ultimate from Senna to stay alive for a little bit longer. The double teleports, and Reddington is already here. And he finds some more damage. The stun. Yeah, massive stun right there. Here comes Voodoo. And oh, he gets kicked in the back line. The rat is here. And it right into Reddington. It might be enough to finish him off. But there goes the Renata using that double. You can't deal with it, though. Uses the slice. Does he still have the dice to try to get him a little bit closer? He gets stunned by Spectoros. Now he's in a 3v1 scenario. Says, I don't want this heat. I'm out of here. But Lini, look. Even with the gold deficit right now, that Redekton is scary. You can see how much damage it's able to output. And if his ult uh, had lasted longer on that other side, it would have been really tough for them to deal with him. Yeah, they've got... They've got a lot of objective gold to get. All the objectives still on the map. Every tower. There's some bounties on these guys as well. You can get one or two of these kills into the right pockets, into this Vigar, into this Senna here. To really start to, yeah. to come online, but LA Tech's so clean. Yeah, I think the other thing is that in comparison to last game, uh, because at this stage, Suboptimal Gaming has one of the dragons, they can afford to let the next two go before they have to start contesting them with their scaling comp. Yeah. And I think it's a really big deal with how well that Renekton can side lane. And I... We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, because it, it has been Suboptimal Gaming's prerogative to contest these dragons anyways. Um, but I think that gives them a real alternative uh, to try and mix up LA Tech. It's tough because LA Tech has so many go buttons. So yeah, you want Renekton in the side lane, but at the same time, these guys are going to have the ability to engage on you so quickly, even if he is there. Already kind of out of this fight right now. They could find some damage on the right. Big Spectoras going in. Massive oh, five-man ultimate my. from Spectoras. And there's the call. The Forge got to follow. Voltron now getting onto the back line. And it is so clean from LA Tech. You can't stop them. They're going to run them down. Wow. Yeah, that's just a that's a clean ace in I think under five seconds of combat. Uh, Spectoras, that's one of those moments where you just you rain in the praise from your teammates because that was such a massive play. Yeah, it was a five man Renata ult. It's a, sorry, it's a five man Rel ult into a three man Renata ult into a four man Orn ult from from that one play. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, they all have go buttons, and they all hit them this time. You cannot be in those corridors against LA Tech. Yeah, they're going to get the mid turret here. Uh, it seems like... I don't know if they'll rotate up towards the Baron. It seems like that's what they're going to do. Uh, or maybe just towards top lane, generally. Oh, Ooh. It was close from the rat looking wow. for Voodoo. He said, Voodoo, don't the do minion. that. The minion with the get down, Mr. President. <laughs> Saving Boo Dude for the Lee Sin kick. Unfortunate because last game we saw a green dragon have some weird, like, Blitzcrank, Go Go Gadget, Extendo, Wrap Around Minion arms. So, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, no, he, he, was, he was on it. Unfortunately, Sonic Wave is just a straightforward shot. Yeah. No, no getting around that. You're just going to hit the minion. I mean,. It would have been cool if he'd queued to the minion and then uh, and then <laughs> safeguarded into ulting the Ash back into the team, but I don't think that the wrap around the minion was a reality in its own. <laughs> I don't think so either. They do grab that, which is a really important one to grab. They clear out some vision because of it. 
They have the scuttle. They have vision near the Baron. You don't really have any way to go in on these guys this far down in gold, though. Yeah, and one of the things that I've noticed is that because of the change in Baron Pit, even with that scuttle like that, there's still a way for uh, LA Tech to enter Visionless. Oh, we do see the Lee Sin on the rail, though. And I've been doing a lot of damage. She's just so, so tanky. So many kills already. 14 assists in this game. Almost omnipresent. Voodoo with the sidestep, though. Getting his like, a flash kick back, though. Massive call to the Forge. Guys, only going to land on one. Already Lee Sin's out of the fight. Senna's the next one to follow, and Dreamy is getting melted down. Reddington realizes he has to run for the hills, but he can't slice and dice over that wall, and he goes down. It's a four for zero, and Feisty is left as the only one. Remaining. Yeah, the Vigar was still ambling his way over for most of that fight, which made it much tougher. But an incredible flash kick from the Wrath. It's just not able to uh, secure the kill onto the Ash. I think if the Ash goes down there, there's a much better argument for them to be able to take the rest of the fight, just because the Ash's damage output is so high right now. Yeah, and Ari wasn't uh, fully there in that fight, and if Rankton can get on the other ones, Rankton is pretty beefy, has the Eclipse, has the Black Cleaver, and if there's no Ash to shred him down, can live for a little bit longer. Feisty could be in a huge trouble. Flash from the wall from Spectorus. Trying to flash away. Not going to be enough. Yeah, it does seem like we're just going to watch uh, LA Tech push on, on on at least two separate lanes. Although the Ari is backing off of mid. Listen, so there it seems was, like their primary push is actually top. There was someone that posted in chat earlier. Are we going to watch Suboptimal go 0-4 on stream? Maybe... But they're 4 0 in my heart, okay? Yeah, they are 4 0 in my heart. And I didn't even watch the last series. They just they won this series twice. <laughs> in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. <laughs> I like that going in. Victorious, the unstoppable. Maybe he could be stopped underneath this tower, though. So much damage coming out. They're able to live for a little bit longer. Rat with a big kick on the Voodoo. They do find it this time, and they finish him off. One more piece of damage, and they do. Rankin finds it still. None of them go down, but a massive ult from Renata means that two of them will. Voldron now trying to get over the wall and does safely. And they find the rest of the damage. Spectoros is pretty low, and they grab the Ash. They're gonna look for more. Dreamy trying to find that Q can't quite do it as he gallops away. Really clean dashes from the Ari uh, with that ultimate to just get in, secure two kills, and get out. And uh, the Renata also coming in huge there just to apply that extra damage to the Lee Sin and hold them still. So really well done from LA Tech overall. Uh, but they were able to pick that Ash, and I think it made a serious difference in that fight. Uh, we saw the Lee Sin ult come out again, and it took a lot of damage away. I think without that, they might have just lost right then and there. Very possible. Rankton is up in CS. Everywhere else, they are down right now. Massively down in kills, massively down in gold. You gotta take what wow. you can get, and if you can grab that Ash they did and you can do it again and you can repeat that only lose one or two uh oh dreamy might be the one who's grabbed does drop that shield right now can't do anything to get out though voo dude picks up his eighth kill tonight rel the spectorus on the rel is 3 1 and 21 just a spectacular performance all around spectorus um, i mean basically wins the mvp with that engage on rel that was one of the best engages on rel you could possibly have yeah Third Dragon, as you talked about, still a lot of time before they have the soul here. Yeah, so that does buy uh, Suboptimal Gaming some time in terms of preventing them from having that massive move speed boost on top of their incredible engage tools. But at the same time, they still have to find an independent way back into this game. And we're looking at a 13k gold lead, yeah. which makes it really tough for them to find that angle. Rat does find Sonic Wave. Not enough people around, though. Did find it onto the right target, so a little antsy to get in there. Taking a lot of poke now. Rel and Orn just being bullies in the jungle, sitting and waiting for their prey. Oh, yeah. They're ready. Like a spider <laughs> waits in its web. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Oh, a rat walking towards the web, and the spiders are trying to collect. Look at all the damage coming out. Automi is able to safeguard away. Can he get all the way out of here? One more auto attack. It doesn't matter. He's down a massive Renata all two. Call the Forge God on top of it, and they are going to wipe through the side of Suboptimal. 
Wolini is still alive, but it's going to be a very uphill battle into uh, the entire team of LA Tech. Looks like they're just going to push on in. It's just Rennington alone in his own world as the five march into the base. There's Rennington only one is going to drop that ultimate. He's gonna go forward. He's gonna try to get some amount of healing. It's too little, too late as he goes down too, and the ace comes out, but Senna spawn. Dreamy spawn. Can they hang on to this game for a little longer? Can they stay on your screens for a little bit longer? They go in. Dreamy trying to deal damage on the Baldron in the back line. Massive Senna ultimate's gonna keep him a little bit of a shield right there. Baldron now gets stunned up. He's gonna get taken out. Feisty picks up a kill, but it's too little, too late. And LA Tech take it in two. Another friend. Really good series overall from LA Tech. Yeah, I mean, LA Tech clinical in their gameplay. Suboptimal going 0-4 on the day on stream, but 4-0 in our hearts. I do have to give the Rat credit on his least. I, I feel like that 0-7 scoreline really uh, does him injustice with the kicks that he was able to land on the Ash yeah. uh, and what he was able to do throughout that entire game. I mean, granted... It was tough with how much the Renata was able to buy the Ash time for him to find the necessary picks. But I think he did a really incredible job in terms of technical play in trying to find suboptimal gaming, the picks yeah. that they needed. And you know what? Uh, Victoras and that jungle on the rail pick both games was a massive part of this win here. But yeah, so was Voodoo on the ADC, Senna in game one, Ash in game two, topping the damage charts in both, just being such, such a threat. His team did such a great job protecting him. So really well played, a deathless game for Orange. Shout out to Andreas as well from the top lane. They're able to collect another win, push themselves closer and closer to playoffs, which are coming up very soon. It's March 17th. They'll be starting second week of April, so... Uh, we're gearing up for it on no name. Yeah. I'm ready. I am ready, too. Guys, I'm going to play us out with uh, a new Coriander song, and uh, then we're going to be out of here. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll uh, see you guys next time.